so till now we have talked about the DNA methylation studies now let us talk a little bit about the protein methylation because I have told you that this methyl transferase can methylate both these things DNA as well as proteins now protein methylation again it's a covalent modifications and usually the protein methylation is also specific just like the DNA methylation because in DNA methylation we have seen the methylation always of tends to occur in the cytosine as well as in adenosine in this case of protein methylation usually they methylate uh, the carboxyl group of glutamate leucine or isophenyl uh, cytosine so whatever ma majorly glutamine and leucine and the carboxyl group of them and they can also methylate lysine residues and in histone uh, whenever we talk about protein methylation we are more interested about the histone methylation because histone is the protein uh, which is a uh, which is uh, helping to DNA to wrap around itself right so we'll talk about this histone methylation and histones are having many lysine residues outside because uh, it is required that lysine or positively charged lysine residues to be wrapped around uh, to be wrapping for for the wrapping of DNA which is negatively charged so it is having more lysine so as this uh, methyl group can uh, uh, can be attached to the lysine residues it is much more easy to methylate the histone proteins okay so let's look at the picture so here it comes uh, it can methylate both lysine as well as arginine residues both of them are of this positive charge so here it is the arginine having this NH2 groups in, in this case this is the R chain of uh, the arginine now methylation can be uh, presented onto one of this uh, chain using PMT we can see it's a methyl transferase using another uh, supporting enzyme adomate okay now this one methylation or monomethyl uh, transfer is possible after the single methylation of arginine it will be called as monomethyl arginine then it can have second round of methylation the methylation uh, of second round can be of two type one is that methylation of the same nitrogen so you are having two methyl group attached to the same single nitrogen here we'll be calling as the asymmetric dimethylation but in this case we can see it is uh, having a symmetry because if we draw this it is having a symmetrical sequence so we'll call it a symmetrical uh, dimethyl arginine so it can produce monomethyl arginine as well as dimethyl arginine now the production of dimethyl arginine can be of two different type asymmetrical and symmetrical okay so here it is uh, the asymmetrical one onto the same as binding region this is the symmetrical one which is onto the two different nitrogens okay and this one is the methylation of lysine residues so it is the lysine now HMT or histone methyl transferase will come and obviously with the help of adomate uh, it will attach this methyl group to one of the nitrogen again here it is the CH attached to here it is forming this or converting this lysine into monomethyl lysine then again the second round of methylation is also possible it is called the dimethyl lysine now the methylation for lysine the second methylation of lysine is only one type which is symmetrical always it is dimethyl lysine and a third layer of methylation is also possible is uh, it, it will be called a trimethyl lysine now okay so this type of methylation can be possible and as you can see lysine can hold on to three different methylation at the same time so that is creating lysine a very hot spot for methylation